I, my first tip would be um, don't wait until everything's perfect. Start earlier than you think um, because even though you think you're not ready, you actually are and you can work the rest mm. out. As Oprah says, you learn as you go. Um, so Oprah did that, I can do that. Um, second tip would be get support and skill sets around you that aren't in your own skill sets. So really make sure that you've got people who know how to do Excel spreadsheets. Um, especially if you don't like numbers um, and just have that ability to call on others to help. Um, thirdly, you got to want to love what you're doing because you basically work for about 27 cents an hour when you run your own business at the start and um, it that seems like you know you're going to have a lot of baked beans and mints and um, you really got to just push through because I've found that in business, especially when you're starting your own business, you will be tested so many times and you'll be tested on a business front. You'll be tested intellectually. You'll be tested emotionally. Buttons will get pushed that you didn't even know you had. Um, and you've really got to have that fortitude to be able to just push through. And so if, I think that if you didn't love what you are doing, you, you won't make it. Um, so absolutely have that passion for, for what you're doing. I would say my first tip is that you're going to make mistakes, but don't let them get you down and don't, don't turn away from it because you've made a mistake. Take the, take, you know, look for the learnings in those. Um, cause we've made quite oh, a lot yeah, of mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would also say like, think about the long-term gains because short-term, like for me, I'm an introvert and I like my own time and the business takes up a massive amount of time and it's like, I sort of see that as a little bit, well, a bit of a sacrifice, but long-term we'll have our own business and magical life. Um, yes. Yes, and that we can work together. I think it's about a story because people really relate to a story and, you know, when you're selling things, if, if, if you've got a story behind that, um, I think you'd be more successful and I think people really resonate with PG and my story and mm -hmm. it, it is a part of it like mm -hmm. the, the um, you know the makeover she gave me and that helped us come up with the idea and when we talk to ladies about that at parties like they really resonate with mm -hmm. it and love it so yeah yeah um,